morning, everybody. Jason Hollis Vaughn. So I'm not sure yet. I hadn't called anybody, but the loggers are supposed to be moving in this morning. Before I get on the tractor, I'm on the Ranger and run up here and see if they move in. I'm not holding my breath, but they're supposed to be. Alright, so here's what's going on now. Not exactly the same old story, but kind of close, but a little better. Oh, uh, I was kind of expecting to see some equipment this morning. The only one that was here was our Forester. So we rode around for the last hour or two, kind of looking, making a locking down a plan for the summer. Uh, the loggers possibly, here's the new story, the loggers possibly could move some stuff in this evening, but if not, for sure in the morning, be moving in and start cutting them off, so we'll see. It's a daily, daily story, but anyway, so what I decided to do, I'm on the 5101, this field I'm in, got a lot of clover in it, Got behind on it last year because it was so wet, I didn't even get to clip it at the uh, right before deer season. So just in case something happens, I'm gonna at least go ahead and clip it now. A lot of good clover in there. I got the cutter, laid it all the way down, raised it up just a little bit, stay at the top of this clover. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna at least get it cut and I'm gonna continue to work on some, some roads where I know, hopefully, we're gonna be doing some logging soon. And uh, gonna be doing something a little different this this time. I'll show y'all, we're gonna be making some new loading pads and really sectioning this thing off for future clear cuts and thinnings and this and that where we stay off all my roads so I don't have to do any new road work. So it's gonna be kind of interesting, kind of fun to lay it out. I believe the plan will come together eventually. And uh, we're gonna get this thing going, but as of uh, for now, us is, is fixing to do a little grass cut. But it's not just a ton of stuff out here, just kind of ratty looking. I mean, the clover right there is great. So, if it didn't spray it, it'd be awful. Did get spray most of it. As, I mean, that little spot right there is always wet and it's finally dried out. So, it's gonna look a lot better when we get done. I'm not gonna do probably any of the other fields yet. I just want to do this one just in case because one of the spots I missed or didn't get to do last year. Get her spruced up and looking pretty good. This spot right here in the road always stays wet. And I'm still not sure. Let's look down here in this deep. Yeah, I believe she's gonna be dry enough right here to finally get to cut this side of the road. Maybe drop her down just a little bit. All right, what are you making that noise for? Now I'm back to bush hogging the trails that I use pretty often. This is just a long edge of a field, but I still travel it some. See my tracks down there from the ranger. Just to kind of keep it knocked back. Keep these little edges and stuff done. Them turkeys and stuff love to walk these edges. They can bug on both sides of the uh, Bush hog trail and it's short for them. They don't mind walking through it. I'm 
good wide road right here. It'd be about a, I was gonna just go down the middle, but I'm gonna get over in the edge and make sure none of these gum trees get out of hand. It'd be about a path and a half by the time I get done. Some places too. I need to get this one as wide as possible because these pines over here is very young and I'm hoping to get the pin in this over here this year so I'll need me a good fire lane down through here when we burn. Get a fire in there right there and them right there will be roasted. I think one of them is going to be plenty wide enough to uh, run the drill down through. like I'm hoping to when they finally get started. Lots of our planting this fall is going to be these big fire lanes. We got clover everywhere else so probably plant a lot of green in these fire lanes. This fire lane here is a lot narrower than that last one we was on. Can't hardly see it, but just on the other side of these short ones that's kind of volunteer trees, I can see it right here. Clear cut right there. So it'll be a while before we burn right here. I, I need to, I'm just thinking it'd be good if you could bring the dozer down through here about one blade wide and make this thing a little wider then it'd be just like the others be something to think about anyway to make it a little easier and a little better all right y'all made it back had a pretty good day today got that one field cut and got a lot of fire lanes cut so uh Happy with that. I hope the loggers will start this evening or supposed to be for sure in the morning. We'll see if that turns out. They've been kind of not making it exactly when they say they're coming here lately, but maybe they'll do it this time. But anyway, I'm finna call it a day on this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.